Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a summer sunscreen video. I did do a video just like this last year where I tried out a bunch of Japanese sunscreens um, to see which one you guys might be interested in. So this year, I also got brand new sunscreens. They are Japanese, but some are Korean as well. And I ordered everything from YesStyle myself so I could try it out. And I'm not just saying this, but I do find when I use Japanese sunscreens in my daily routine consistently, like every day I'm putting it on and applying it. First, it protects it, but second of all, I just find that just the texture and the feeling of my skin is just protected and just feels a lot healthier. So sunscreens are the key. All of these are pretty much SPF 50, PA++++. More pluses the PA has, it means the longer the sunscreen is going to protect your skin for. So just assume that all of these uh, sunscreens are SPF 50 PA++++. Um, if they're not, I will mention it. In general, most Japanese sunscreens are that standard protection um, and some Korean ones are a little different, but I will again mention it once I get to it. First one is the Biore UV Agua Rich. Now I have used this one before. You've probably seen this picture right here. Super popular Japanese sunscreen. That's a water essence, but I haven't tried this formula before. So this one's a lighten up formula meaning that it's supposed to over time tone and lighten your skin make the complexion more radiant type thing that's the skincare benefit within this and so when you first apply it it goes on a little bit thicker and white it is a little bit more sticky once it does soak into the skin this would be really good for brightening skincare benefits so if you weren't just looking for a sunscreen to just protect your skin but you wanted something as that last step with also skincare benefits this would be it as far as all of the formulas I've tried from Bior or UV. I've tried their milk, their water essence, their gel. This one probably would be my least favorite just because of the sticky type feeling it leaves. So the next one is the Roto Skin Agua UV Super Moist Essence Gold. And this one's supposed to have skin strengthening benefits. It protects skin from pollutants like pollen and dust. And it's also a makeup base, just like the Biore UV one, um, but it's an essence. So it can be used on the face and body. This is the most moisturizing sunscreen that I have ever used. I just feel like the texture of it isn't just a sunscreen, but it's also a moisturizer. So it doubles up, like it really doubles up as two things. You can moisturize your skin with it and also protect your skin. So I do say if you have oily skin, you probably could get away with using this just as a moisturizer and as a sunscreen, you wouldn't have to put on moisturizer as well. That's how hydrating it is. This one says it acts as a makeup base, which you know I could see because since it's so hydrating, but I wouldn't double up makeup with this. This one would be really good to wear on its own. Since it's so moisturizing, it would be just something quick to just throw on, um, especially if you're you know, gonna go swimming or to the beach or something and you don't wanna wear any face makeup. I would wear this because it gives you like that hydrated glow, um, but it's protecting your skin. The next one is the Can Make Mermaid Skin gel so they come with three types and the one that i got is like the light pink label so this is for again face and body it helps to brighten skin and it acts as a makeup base this one i got was just the pure uh, clear base one even though it comes white out of the tube it does set down like a gel quicker like the quickest out of all of them that i've seen and it feels cooling to the skin so when i did set this um as my last step i felt like that cooling sensation which is really good for summer the mer Mermaid Skin Claim, I guess, is just makes your skin look a lot more brighter and luminous. I have never really tried Kim Make anything. I know they make makeup as well, but I do see how this could be a really like cute type of sunscreen to use in your little makeup routine uh, just because it feels so nice on the skin and then it's just like a good base to put on like that glowy type makeup look. So. I like this. It says it's for the face and body. I personally like this one. I would use on my body because it comes with so much. It's super hydrating. This one I find is just like a smaller tube, obviously. Not just because it's a smaller tube. I just think the formula in general is just a really good at like applying small bits to the face. It's not like an all over body type sunscreen to me. All right, so moving on, the next one is the Gigot UV Sun Block SPF 50 PA++++. Plus, 
that's it, three pluses. So like I said, I would mention if it wasn't four PA++++, this is just three. And I've noticed because this is a Korean brand sunscreen. Now this one is made with snail essence. It's dewy finish, um, makes skin look smooth and luminous. It also has herbal extract and snail secretion, which protects skin and makes it brighter. So this one has a little bit of a fragrance to it, but it's not too overpowering. The reason too, I like to use snail type skincare products. They soak down to the skin so well it just almost disappears so if you're layering the uh, snail essence snail cream uh, snail sunscreen you're gonna have tons of layers of hydration on your face but you're not gonna feel it because they dry really quickly and set really quickly so the next one is the Ishanon kiss me sun's killer perfect water essence this is a water base and it has 86 moisturizing ingredients, hyaluronic acids, and antioxidants. It's supposed to enhance skin's hydration levels. So it's a white gel that sets like a normal gel right away. I keep saying that, but it does set down really quickly. It feels comfy on the skin and it dissolves like a gel moisturizer. It is a true gel type uh, Japanese sunscreen. I do recommend those for all skin types. You are just getting into sunscreens. Gel... Japanese standard sunscreens are the way to start and then you can venture out to like essences and milks and all that um, but gel is where to start and this one would be a good basic one to try out to see if you actually really like it the only difference between this one the sun killer one and the biore uv one that's really popular is this one has kind of a lemony type scent it has like a tiny fragrant citrus scent to it so if that is something you're sensitive to uh you might want to be aware of that but other than that it's a really good basic sunscreen to try out all right so the next one is the misha soft finish sun milk spf 50 plus pa plus 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 only three pluses and this is a korean brand i use the bb cream all the time this is my favorite bb cream so i finally tried the sunscreen i heard really good things about it and to be honest out of all of them it's the one that i have been using the most so this is the only milk one i've tried out and milk means that it is a lot more creamier and the texture of it is a lot more milkier but it's not a gel it's not an essence um, it doesn't go on like a gel moisturizer it goes on more like a traditional moisturizer and i've been using this every single day i feel like it really does go well underneath bb creams uh, if you want to have kind of like that glass skin finish last video i I tried out a bunch of sunscreens and the one that I just kept using all year round was the Biore UV Milky sunscreen. Um, so now I'm using the Misha uh, Sun Milk sunscreen. So I think that it's safe to say in general out of all the skin finish type sunscreens I've tried, Milk is my favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions or you want to tell me your favorite sunscreen, I would love to know. So comment it down below. I will link uh, my older Japanese sunscreen video I did last year below. So if there was other ones you're interested in, I might have covered it in that video. With that being said, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next skincare video. Bye.